Hey everyone, my name is Sam and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Spyro The Eternal Night. Episode 2. Last episode, what happened? Um, Cinder left, Spyro went catatonic for a bit, gained the ability to control time, regained fire, and spoke to a weird ethereal voice that called himself the Chronicler. And now the apes are back with a, a complete fleet of Dreadwings and are bombing the temple. And I'm doing this very calm intro and this very calm music is playing while they are actively bombing the temple. So let's go save the others. On words. Yeah, they are, there's, they are just fully bombing the temple. And the apes. The apes are back. Yep. The one and only. Yep, we can fight. Or at least you two can fight now what? Bring it on! It's been a hot minute since I fought you guys. Ow, and you're you're tougher than I remember. Ow. Boom! Oh, the return of the slow motion. I almost forgot about this. I yow! Oh, that was awesome. We knocked him into the mushroom and it exploded and everything. Ow! And it seems that though, as though they've got some new friends. Ah. Ow! Wow. You, we are literally almost dead. Luckily, got some spirit gems to hand. Ow. Ah. Die. Die. Ow. And of course the enemies, they still drop, uh, like, all types of spirit gems, like all the regular ones. Oh god, more of these guys, I hate them. You know, this is something that I definitely, um... This is something that I definitely need to, uh, get better at. The way this game is made... It wants you to use the the time abilities like the way these enemies are designed and that you know they're purposefully more difficult and I think the reason I've always found this game quite difficult is because I've tried to play it like new beginning I've tried to just brute force my way through all of the enemies but that's not what you're supposed to do it gives you a, an ability which is essentially a game changer and you you need to use it because you actually you actually can get more hits in uh, if you use the slow the ability of slowing down time and this guy's throwing bombs at us and these are of course a sort of new variety of ape that we hadn't encountered before Get back here. But he's invulnerable while he was jumping. Get back here. Oh, bloody Nora. But yeah, these are... Uh, clearly... A new variety of ape that we haven't encountered before. They're sort of like assassin uh, apes. They're the best of the best. Ow! God, will you guys go away? Like, really? Oh god, there's more of them. Die, Tor Skergul. And of course, we have the return of the funny names. There we go. Using the... I, again, I've never... I've never really been uh, the best at this game because I'd, I'd say this is much more difficult than New Beginning, but I think that's just because I've never played it how it's supposed to be played. I always... Because obviously in New Beginning, it was just sort of a case of breathe or hit... Breathe on or hit something until that thing stops moving. But in this, I think they definitely took uh, efforts to try and improve that by adding some strategy to uh, 
to the game. And I think this will make it a quite a, a fun playthrough, to be honest. How handy. The uh, the Dreadwings accidentally destroyed uh, the barricades that are stopping us from progressing. Now over here, sneaky uh, little experience spirit gem cluster. Beautiful. So just like back in the first game, we have to push these things. And this time, they actually gave us an animation for Spyro pushing... Uh, Pushing stuff, because if you remember in the first game, uh, in New Beginning, you just sort of ran up against the, uh... You just sort of ran up against the pillars like that. But now, they actually gave us, if I can actually push it, it gave us a cool little animation. There definitely are... Hey, look at this. There definitely are improvements and things that aren't improvements, uh... In this second game. But honestly, I'm just enjoying... Uh, I'm just enjoying Eternal Night while we still have it. Because, obviously, you know, this is only the second episode. We've only just started this. Um, but, after this, we've got Dawn of the Dragon. Which I'm really not a fan of. But, as you can see... Um, yeah, we have a, we have a pressure plate here, and if we go off it, we can't really get through the door in time. And this is really the first example of a puzzle that must be solved using time. So now if we run, we can just get through the door. The thing is, time, it, it's a little bit more than just slowing down time. It sort of slows down everything else while, uh, but it doesn't slow you down as much. So that's uh, why that sort of stuff is possible. We have a, a nice, nice green breath uh, spirit gem cluster. Now, as you can see, these are actually usually endless. Because obviously, you know, it only gives uh, spirit energy, uh, not spirit energy, like mana, and uh, you can just get it infinitely. Of course, we have a torch here that we were taught that we need to light. A couple more over here. One and two. Further in we go. That looks... Yep, quite unstable. See that coming. And we got three spirit gems. Oh yeah, let's not uh, let's not go down there. Clearly, this temple's seen better days, and clearly, like the these are parts that we didn't see in a uh, in the first uh in the first game. These are sort of segments of the temple that we didn't explore. But yeah, as you can see, we can get more hits in by slowing down time. Um, ow. We can get more hits in by slowing down time. Oh, look at that, an aerial comet dash. Let's go. Ow. Yeah, you see, they are faster. Which means we need to be... More clever. I'm gonna say, I'm really... Again, I haven't... Uh, I didn't show you guys in episode one, but uh, at least on this memory card, it's... To be honest, I probably played it... Um, I probably played it earlier than this. Uh, well, more recently than this, but uh, at least on the memory card I'm using... The last uh, save profile was actually in 2016. That was seven years ago. Jesus Christ. I think that m that may have been... I don't know. I'm, I want to say that may have been my first ever playthrough. I'm sure 
I must have played through it more recently than that, surely to God. But yeah, I'm having a lot more fun because obviously I'm a lot more, uh, I'm, I'm a lot cleverer now, I guess, than I was back in the day. And this actually, um, it actually goes to show uh, I was better at New Beginning because it didn't require strategy and it would just sort of brute force your way through everything. But I'm better at this now than I was back in the day because it requires strategy. So I'm probably actually going to enjoy this a little bit more than I did back in the day. Honestly, the Dreadwings are being very helpful in clearing the way for us. And it looks like we got some, uh, we got some cousins of the older uh, spiders from the first game. Oh god, ow! No! And they, they spit shit at us. That really hurts. Piss off. Yes. Can't do anything! Fuck you! Oh, and I forgot we had to do this! There we go. There we go, it's all coming back to me now. Now there is... I saw a scriber's quill... Uh, up somewhere. Was it back here? I think it might have been. Yeah, it's there. How do we get there? Oh, I see. Go up here. Up you get. Up here. And then on here. And then up here. And then glide all the way over here. Nice. Get in. Don't think I've ever got that one before. But let's carry on. We've got more to worry about than... Uh, Weird floating quills. We've got uh, we've got a lot of friends to save. Well, this looks like an arena, doesn't it? Or it might just be like a chill area. We've got some uh, very much well-needed uh, red spirit gems. And we've got a few torches to light as well. Now, we do have our fury ready, so that's uh, that's a positive. I thought it might be one of those through that door. And yes, your eyes do not deceive you. That is indeed an ape riding a giant snail. Welcome back to the Legend of Spyro, ladies and gentlemen. And our time ability is very much going to be uh, necessary in fighting this one. Because it's quite a powerful enemy. Ooh. Ow. It can sp Why can everything in the swamp spit that shit? I don't even know what it's supposed to be. I thought it might be like a globule of like... Ice or something. But it seems to just be some sort of acid. That didn't even... That hit the snail. You you gotta hit the rider, that's... That's why. That? Boom. Didn't even break a sweat. Yeah, clearly the temple's a lot bigger than, uh, than we saw in New Beginning. There must have been a lot of other ways in. Like this torch. Smash through here. Smash through here. There we go. Like this torch. Oh, more of these guys. Again, so I, I, I remember how much I struggled with these guys as, as a kid, but using the, the ability to slow down time makes them so much easier. It is good to be back playing The Legend of Spyro. Obviously, I had a few months off before I started this, you know, in between finishing New Beginning. And I'd also like to uh, briefly take the time to apologize for the quality of my mic in like the last three Legend of Spyro New Beginning episodes because that was just awful. That that hurt to edit and I apologize about that. Oh! Jesus. Be careful. Whoa. Okay. God, this temple is really falling apart. Slightly 
they've got reinforcements. But do they have reinforcements that can slow down time? I didn't think so. Dude didn't even know what hit him. Ow. But his friends are still around. Ow. Oh, yow. See, it, the, see, the thing is, it's it says that... Uh, it, it says, uh, well, it said in the dream sequence that Comet da, Comet. It said in the dream sequence that uh, Comet Dash does, like, massive damage, but I don't think it really does that much. Maybe upgrading uh, our regular breath abilities actually does upgrade our, uh, our melee abilities as well. We'll, we'll have to, we'll have to see. Ooh. I honestly just brushed through those uh, those vines for fun. I didn't realize there was anything hidden back there. Speaking of, let's see how much spirit energy we've got. Jesus, look. Look how much that little amount of spirit energy will get us. That's like around about three quarters of the way to level one. We may as well just wait until we've got enough because, you know, upgrading now won't do anything. There's really a lot of them. Ah, finally a big ape. Here we go. Did you see Sparks then? He was ready to turn around and run away. There's one. Oh. Oh god, and he's got... He's got a... Uh, the ability of, of of big big energy wave as well, though it doesn't look like he's got control over any element in particular, unlike the ones from New Beginning. Let's see what we can do to this guy. One thing it seems I I've sort of noticed as we've been attacking these guys. Oh, oh you see, if I hadn't have activated the slowing down time ability. I would not have had time to dodge that attack. Or that one. What? I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I really am because this is like... It's like I'm playing the game for the first time again. Or just playing it for the first time in general, because I'm playing it as it was supposed to be played, and not just trying to brute force my way through everything. I promise you, back in the day, I did not use the slowing down time ability uh, as often as I should have done. I didn't use it in combat, like, at all, unless it was absolutely necessary that I used it. Which was a tremendous mistake on my part, because obviously... Ow. Damn it. Which was a tremendous mistake on my part, because obviously that's how the game is clearly meant to be played. The enemies are made more difficult with the thing in mind that you sort of have a cheat card for dealing with them. But I think we're actually going to end this episode here. Um, I don't, I never want these to go on for too long. I like to keep them uh, short. I like to keep this series as sort of a mid-length uh, episode series that you guys can casually watch because a lot of the videos I make are actually quite long so uh thanks a lot for watching everyone I really hope you did enjoy uh we're heading further on into the temple trying to get back to the others make sure the others are all all right and we've shown that Spyro is definitely not rusty and yeah he's still got it so thanks a lot for watching everyone I hope you did all enjoy uh make sure to leave a like leave a comment and subscribe if you want to see more stuff from this idiot right here so thanks a lot for watching everyone and I will see you on another video very very soon goodbye everyone